What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight Team, stand up! Once again, it's April. FTC, stay faithful. Cash! With the best steak and lobster. This man right here. Y'all, y'all in the chat, man. We're gonna edit that uh beginning intro out in the uh, stream. Hopefully in the vibe. Ladies, ladies, calm down. Have a crazy baby mama. This man right here. Who the fuck throwing box of briefs, bro? Okay, Cash was a creative you know intro. Time it is, y'all. We about to cook the perfect steak, still got in the package, and lobster surfing turf, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Cause I feel like steak and eggs is so basic. Like, who don't know how to cook eggs? Yes, shots was thrown. <laughs> steak and eggs is basic. You sitting there making it right now. I mean, minus the eggs. <laughs> Bro had to um, just. Uh, Add on lobster like lobsters really are the cook. I'm going to tell y'all the basics of cooking lobster if you've never cooked lobster before. You open the package, take it out the shell, season the lobster, and then put it in your choice of a, a pan. Um, uh, uh, I don't think crock pat they use it, but something just to cook the lobsters. Basically, you open it up, break it apart in the shell, season it, and then put it to where you need to cook. That's it. I think making lobster is probably way more easier than making eggs, if we're being honest. So. <laughs> Bro, lost, yo. So for the green, ladies and gentlemen, what we gonna need is we gonna need simple, just unsalted stick of butter. And bro, what's easier to make lobster and eggs, bro? Stop playing, bro. Lobster, I'm making lobster in five seconds. Hurt. Really simple. And we gonna need Montreal steak seasoning. This right here is my top season. When I'm doing steak, you know, it just makes it. Gordon Ramsay ain't got on me. You feel me? Real talk. Bro, and we have calling out Gordon Ramsay and everything. Man. That's crazy. And, the steak. and I know y'all asking, Cash, where's the lobster? We're gonna put the lobster over here. Now, the steak right here is. It's room temperature. Okay, y'all, yes. And people are like, good. You, you gotta wash the steak, y'all wash the steak. Like, come on, bro. You think the butchers didn't want to wash the steak when they cut it? Some of them did, you know? Water cost. <laughs> we got the lobster right here. Ooh. Yeah, I had to put him in wet nap. Bro, I had to dive yeah, in the Pacific right here, Ocean, bro. No name I don't wanna yeah. Got a fresh I lobster, know. all right. <laughs> my mother, we cut no connection, man. Is he a lobster? Yes. Yeah, Crazy oh, thing is, it depends where you get it from, but bro, they be they be waxing with lobster prices. So we got a you gotta edit funny lobster, yourself. ladies and gentlemen. There'll be a Everybody little tiny made. piece of meat in the middle of that Give thing. Pause. Out right. of that whole thing, a uh, lobster. You got one of those. Some lights right there. Yeah. You know about that, man. The first thing we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, right, we're gonna get one stick, unsalted stick of butter. So what we're gonna do is, we got that right there. Then we're gonna get over here, y'all. We got the garlic. Now, do not do this right here at home. I, I do the back of the knife. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot about the garlic, but I use like garlic that. powder, though. It's the same shit. Of it. Put that in there. I can't help but feel like, how, if, how would you feel if you would do watching somebody prepare something they might have put you in? Yeah, his point of view. My <laughs> <laughs> what the f we gonna put some Montreal <laughs> steak seasoning on it. I think right here, it really is the best steak seasoning that I have purchased on the market. And it's important, y'all, like I tell him, Malcolm, you gotta have unsalted thicker butter. Cause like, you don't want it to already be, you know, like that, that, that buttery salty We know cash, you super fattening. You got that meat. from me, by the way. <laughs> just like this. Then we'll come over here with the roasted garlic and herb. Simple, just like that. See, a lot of people prefer to have bone out. I actually like to have bone in. They like that flint stone, man. Man. Lot, man. You know, well, bone, it just feel like, is this real? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, they can get you up on the feet when they got no bone in it. But you see the 3D printed steaks? Yes. Yeah. Would y'all eat one of those, bro? One of them 3D printed steaks? Would you 3D printed steaks? Yes. Man. 3D printed steaks? How do, how do you make a 3D steak? Yeah. How do you one print one? food? That was wrong. What am 3D printed states? Would you? If it was presented the right way. I, I if, it was cooked, if it was cooked right, it's printed. Last but not least, y'all, we got the onion powder, just like that. Damn, cash might as well just cut the season apart, just dump it on you there. You don't want to over season the state, you know, because you, you, you do want to taste like. I'm, I'm so primitive. I like to go hunt for my meat, right? So let's say, like I did hunt for a deer, right? And I know the vegetation he eating on. You can taste that. It's, it, it's, it's a wild taste and it's delicious. All right here says. Bro, Cash looking up all these like 
researching facts about this food, bro. <laughs> There's no way in hell you already knew that, though. USDA choice, 100% guarantee. Ain't nothing about it being raised in a farm. This dude right here, 100%, bro. He was he crowded. But I'm telling y'all, you are what you eat. So when you go out there, you you know, you hunt for something that's actually in the wilderness, eating on berries, eating on the, the river vegetation, it gonna taste way better. Look at all this fat on here, man. You go to that cattle right there in there, man, where the cows ain't got nothing to worry about. They fat, man. <laughs> they right here. They are. And this is why the steaks got a lot of fat. Like Jeff. So the simple as that. So now what we're gonna do is put the steak right over here, real simple. Mm. Bro, yeah. is that cooking oil that you was just saying right not to cook, use? Right? That's butter, some pretty good steak, bro. No gas, bro. You next, bro. Lobster heaven. <laughs> That's where you going. Some people like. You know, I wonder how we gonna cook the lobster. Like cooking on low temperature for about you know a good like three or four minutes. Honestly, That's exactly what I, I said, like Cash. Bro, it's copy and paste in what I'm like saying. Mine. I don't know what it is, and I like, like and I like cooking it with the butter, so like, like, like seeping through. See, I love it, man. Cause it, it, it all gonna come through when you taste it, man. Look at that, man. Look at that. Talk to me. Talk to me, fifty. Come on. Looking pretty so far, bro. Yeah, I see the chefs do this too. Oh, I did exactly that, by the way. We got the rosemary, we got the thyme. I ate the rosemary. Just throw it in there. Just like that, right? The one Christmas tree right there, right? And then this right here is a thyme. I say thyme. What does this do? What kind of flavor does this have? I can't explain it. It's it, it's a it's a herb taste though. This right here is a secret. Bro, ingredient. what? <laughs> Don't be Bro, you copy my ingredients. He just asked you what does a thyme or, or a, a rosemary do. He couldn't even explain it, bro. <laughs> A mustard and all my other recipes, man. I right? yeah, look, don't be ashamed to admit when somebody cooking a better steak than you too. Come on, man. Don't Come on, get flowers, bro. Thank you. We got the lemon right here, man. Yo, Mal, I, I already know. Mal, you a little lit. You feel me? And the food is right there. I'll be saying anything too, bro, to make sure I enjoy that meal. I feel it. But Mal, everybody knows I made the better steak, bro. Add that zest to it. Hey, when that food is on the line, bro, you gotta side with the homie or your uh, your family. I feel it, bro. Fresh yeah, meal. It's about time. I go ahead and put this on, man. See, is it, is it, you think you gonna cut up? I put this on. Right. Uh, take one off. See what you can do. I'm left handed. Take a left one. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> but that thing is still oh, alive, bro. Love, that big one you like couldn't just get the lobster tails. He's ready for it. He trying to take them off right now. You don't say no words over there. He just yeah, execution style off. gets big to it. Abel, you got any words? Let, let it live. I'll put it down, Abel. Oh, dude. You wanna touch it? You like it? Cash, what you doing, bro? Right, he's bad energy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the video purposes, you know we cannot show this right here. Uh, really? I got bills to pay, ladies and gentlemen. I got me a little one right there. Go, got college, got buy shoes. Bills go out. Exa exactly. She, she knows. She hears it. Let me tell you something. Oh, no. no. Bro, these edits are hilarious. So this is all for expert cookers. Now they're noobs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the scissors right underneath like the I ain't gonna lie, I've never made a lobster like uh, uh, Make sure you borderline sure. live lobster. Like, I only just get I'm the lobster to me. Just like that. And you cut right in the middle. Not rocket science. Just like that, real simple. Now come over here, I'm gonna flip my steak. Jinx, he's ready? Come on, man. Looking good. Come on, do, do I play, y'all? Do I play? So now we're gonna, we're gonna go up in here. Taking my boy's skirt off, man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, y'all, like I said, it is challenging, y'all. This meal here looks so nah, good. I know it's not. I, I, I would smoke They'll let me know when they're ready, bro. guys. Put some soy sauce on it and taste it raw. Right, this this be something I do. Also, man, I heard Ninja got cancer. Um, oh, hope he had a little Yeah, bro, man. Yeah, bro, that was crazy to hear, man. Bunch. Prayers to Ninja. If you guys didn't know, Ninja, uh, he found out that he had uh, uh, cancer, but they, apparently, like, they found it early and stuff. Fuck cancer, man. Every time, bro, think he's getting was, the treated. Good vibes, man. He, he one of them uh, the white boys, you know, in school. Like, you know, you, you pick up on your team, be cool dude. Mm -hmm. You know, they later on you go cheat on his paper. <laughs> yeah, he's one of them dudes, bro. And he cool with the culture, man. So, you know, man. Hey, yeah, damn, damn, bro. Yeah, I know, bro. He got diagnosed with cancer, bro. I seen it. Definitely sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Prayers up, for you, bro. Prayers for you, bro. All right, gentlemen. I did turn it off and let it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Come on now. Talk to me, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Let that get the best light possible. This is not burnt right here. Like, That's the same exact. The funny inside. thing is, it's the same exact steak that I had, bro. <laughs> it's probably just a little bit more crispness on the sides. 
Come on, stop it. Like, you know you want a piece. Thank you. You know you want a piece. You know you want a piece, you know you want a piece of my steak. Pause. Because I'm dead experienced with cooking. I know just by timing and just by experience of being chef for NASA through all the years. This steak right here is well done. All right, bro. We're going to settle this right now, bro. Hold on. Because I'm dead experienced with cooking. I know just by timing. And just Nigga, by show the steak. There it is. Man, I'm trying to get you a fucking comparison. Nigga is babbling. All right, bro, we're going to settle this right now, man. Let's go to my vid. Okay. New York strip cut. I feel like those are like the top three. Got that pink in it? You just got to cut off the bone. I'm, I'm trying to find it where it's fresh out. At that 141 thing, we got to cut it up. All right. All right, who's this better, man? We're going to settle this right now. Mine... Or cash. Bro, ours look the damn same, bro. The only difference is that, like, around the edges on mine, these, this is, like, called, like, the fat part. So the fat part's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit well done. But, bro, this is the same exact thing. And I had eggs, bro. Delicious steak and eggs with the cheese. Stop it. Come on. This is the same thing. Mine's is better. Nice try, cash. This looks like, good, though. Thank you. you know you want a piece, man. It looks I good. It was a good attempt and good try. We're cooking. I know just by timing and just by experience of being chef for NASA through all the years. This steak right here is well done. We're going to let this right here cool down because it's still cooking in the inside. Bro, right? someone so make a pole, bro. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. And what we're going to do is we got the stove over bro, here. Bro, what type of lobster meat is that? We're going to twist the claws off just like that. God damn. But what we're going to do is while we do that, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, season over here we got lemon bro, pepper roasted garlic that. and herb and we got the original tony satchel first thing first they go ahead and put the tony satchel on here right? this is how we're gonna spice them just like this yeah you can put it on the call you know but it's not gonna go in what do the polls say what do the polls say bro you guys is capping bro 67 percent on 33 percent bro april fools was yesterday bro what's wrong with y'all niggas yeah, I'm seeing somebody spill, man. I know you won't put that much. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna rub it on the contents of the tissue over here. All right, so like I said, yeah, we got the we got the oven on 350. Gonna, come on, y'all. Lobster in the oven? Or bro. We're gonna get some of the butter, just like we did prior, okay? But you're gonna put the butter. I thought you put on like a boil right. thing or some shit. 15 minutes. I see y'all there. A few moments later. 15 minutes in the oven. I smell that. Uh, something. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. That know, look kind of good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I know, man. I know. Bro, I was I just sitting. I didn't know you could put my fucking right cool lobster or seafood cool in the oven like that. Make the butter, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is what I call exactly what you just said. <laughs> it's not done yet. All right, we got the melted butter. All we did was put it in the microwave, and now we're gonna put the lobster tail on top of here. And Jay, be careful with this right here. This the the best thing. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I present to y'all. Surf and turf. Bro, it's yeah. steak and lobster, bro. <coughs> Talk to me. Bro, the lobster. I'll, bro, what the fuck is that? Bro, I'll admit the lobster is good as hell. Looks good as hell. Bro, but my steak is better, bro. Come on, man. And this right here is the finished product. So we're about to go ahead. The, and like I said, the only mistake that I made. The only mistake that I made, literally the only mistake that I made, is I forgot to take the pan that had the juices and stuff that was sizzling with the steak and then pour it on top of the steak, just like how we did with this butter at the end. You know what I'm saying? Niggas were just so hungry, forgot. But that's the only flaw that I left out to, like, make it give it that, you know, uh, juicier look or whatever. Pause. Inside the steak, I know it's perfect. Y'all see that butter right there, man? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me put the turkey out the way, man. Look at this. Bro, she's using all of his strength to make sure it looks soft, bro. That's the same exact texture of my steak, bro. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Just because it's well done, don't mean it has to be burnt. Look at that juice in this. It doesn't mean it got to be burnt. It's not. Come on, man. Am I tripping? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a benefit of the doubt and say it's the lightning. But why does it look yellow like that? Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Just because it's well done, don't mean it has to be burnt. Look at that juice. Be bro, it looked like motherfucker. Have you ever had like meatloaf, like Salisbury steak, or like something like that around that line? That's what it looked like. Come on, man. 
Bro got a steak off of Timu, man. Oh, the acting is amazing. <laughs> bro, I promise you I was not doing that shit, bro. That's how delicious it is. I promise you I was not doing that shit. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, 50. All right. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get some of the lobster. Wait for the lobster. This is the reaction. I mean, bro, to be fair, it's not hard to be lobster, bro. So video, I just found out you can make it in the oven. I didn't know that shit. All right, y'all resolve this right now. And uh, comment down when the video is out. Who made the best lobster, bro? Me or Cash? That's your flight, and let's be real. And flight, know you right here. The lobster is really good looking. The steak looks... Really, you know what I'm saying? It looked like a Denny steak, to be fair. I ain't gonna lie. It looked like something like off of like a, you know, a one or two star restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Got the job done. Look at this, man. But mine's is definitely five star quality look and taste. It don't take 20 chews to swallow, bro. Bro, you're still chewing it, bro. <laughs> you can't even end the video off. Bro, you didn't even chew, nigga. Bro, risk his damn health, bro, to get the video Yo, over with. All right, man. Shout out to Cash, bro. I made the better steak. All right, bro.